Hey everyone, in this video we are going to look at a series of visual and graphic mods that will transform your Skyrim into a beautiful looking game to play and experience. So let's get started. The very first mod we are going to look at is a texture overhaul called Skyland All-in-One. I recommend using Skyland as your base texture mod to build upon. It features a huge collection of high quality textures ranging from landscapes to architecture and dungeons, while also keeping a good in-game performance. There is even a 1K version for people who don't have very powerful PCs, but still want nice looking textures. This is the current texture overhaul that I use for my base game. Next, we are going to look at environmental mods that will build upon the Skyland texture overhaul. The first mod is called Skyrim 3D Landscapes that adds unique new flora and 3D ground covers. The mod aims to expand the variety of plants and give landscapes a unique feeling between biomes in Skyrim. It should have very little performance cost and is a must have visual mod in my opinion. Another mod by the same author is called Skyrim 3D Rocks. Using photogrammetry, this mod adds very realistic detailed rocks into your game, a personal favourite visual mod of mine. And as expected, the rocks look absolutely incredible. For all the mountains around Skyrim, we will be using none other than the Majestic Mountains mod. This mod comes in three different versions, the default version, a dark side or a light side. I personally use and prefer the light side version, but that's totally up to you which one you want to use. This mod builds upon the vanilla mountains in almost every aspect and is another mod everyone should be using when visually overhauling Skyrim. Next up, we are going to focus on ice mods. There is a lot of ice and snow in Skyrim and a lot of great ice mods, but the one that I prefer and would recommend is called Northern Ice. It's a really beautiful mod that improves the glaciers and ice caves up in the north of Skyrim. It also gives the ice a really nice glowing blue colour that I really like. Moving on to the skybox, we have the 8K Night Skies Stars and Galaxies mod, which is part of the cathedral concept. This mod will make the night sky of Skyrim look stunning and come alive with glowing stars and a spiral galaxy, none other than the Milky Way itself. Another sky mod that I would recommend is called Smoother Skies. This mod makes a completely new sky mesh to make the sky appear more smooth and blend seamlessly with one another. It's really one of those mods that you don't know how good it is until you have tried it and experienced it for yourself. Now we're going to expand on some of the dungeons in Skyrim and for that I use two mods from the Blender Animator. The first one is called Immersive Caves which replaces the caves with beautiful 8K textures and another mod called Immersive Mines that replaces the default mine textures with realistic 8K textures. Both mods look fantastic and add a bunch of realism to your game. And the last environmental mod from this list is a fire overhaul mod called Embers XD. This mod is a continuation of the Embers HD mod and is the best fire retexture mod to use in Skyrim in my opinion. It covers most if not all of the fire sources in Skyrim, ranging from campfires to the magic you cast and the bonfires found around the giant camps. When installing Embers XD, you should read the mod page carefully as it goes through the best settings to use with this mod in your NE files. Moving on to some architecture mods, we have the ever popular city overhaul known as JK's Skyrim. This mod will enhance most of the major cities and towns found around Skyrim with an all-in-one overhaul. Each town and city has been expanded in a lore-friendly and immersive way to create a more unique atmosphere within your game. Entirely new buildings and vendors have been added to certain towns to make them more vibrant Alternatively, each city or town overhaul can be installed separately on the models page if you wish. 
and from the same mod author are a number of mods known as JK's Interiors. These mods overhaul the interior of popular buildings you might find around Skyrim, also in a very lore friendly and immersive way. Some great examples include Dragon's Reach in Whiterun, the Thieves Guild Ragged Flagon in Riften, or the Riverwood Trader. There are many more examples, so make sure to check out the mod author's page to find them all. For the towers and Nordic ruins around Skyrim, we will be using TB's Parallax Towers, which adds a beautiful, high quality retexture of the stone walls used in towers and some of the Nordic ruins found around Skyrim. These textures offer a very unique look compared to the vanilla Skyrim, but it's one that I really enjoy and I think you will too. And for bridges, we will use TB's Glorious 8K Parallax Bridges mod, which recreates all the bridges found in Skyrim with a beautiful red brick, adding a bit of color and vibrancy to the environment. Another important part of architecture are the doors you use. And for that, we will be using the Glorious Doors of Skyrim mod by Hype1. This mod replaces most of the doors found around Skyrim with new, unique meshes. This mod is amazing with some incredible attention to detail. Some doors even have new mechanics like the Dwemer doors that have animated gears and sounds all done in a very lore friendly way. And just as a bonus little mod that I really enjoy, I recommend for you to try out the Better Chest mod that replaces the large ruin, noble and common chests around Skyrim with high poly retextures these chests look amazing and have a style that fits well within the world of Skyrim. Onto the next section, an important part of making the visuals of your game look great is utilizing an EMB. The EMB you use is mostly down to preference, but the one I mainly use is called PRT12 or Photorealistic Tamriel, which gives a very natural and realistic look to Skyrim. A lot of EMBs require a specific weather mod and for this one you need to use the nat.emb3 plugin. The combination of this EMB preset and plugin gives Skyrim a very nice aesthetic with a beautiful atmosphere that I really enjoy. Another good EMB combo that I like is Rudy EMB with Cathedral Weathers. There are also a few fantastic EMB support mods that will just enhance your experience using an EMB. Firstly, you should be using ENB Light. This mod will transform your Skyrim experience by allowing light sources to glow on surfaces, most specifically on grass. Another important mod is called Water for EMB that will give you the best looking water your game can give you. With this mod, your water will look so realistic it'll even match up against a lot of the AAA games being made today. It achieves this by taking full advantage of the features introduced by your ENB. And finally, we have EMB Complex Grass. This mod patches several grass mods to work with the complex grass feature in your EMB. This feature adds new complex grass shadows to make it look extremely realistic. Almost every blade of grass and leaf can now be distinguished from one another and it really blew me away the first time I used this mod. If you want more information on EMB or EMB presets you should check out my EMB guide video that goes into more detail for beginners on how to set up an EMB and how to change settings in game. To go alongside your weather mod there are a number of great weather add-ons. To start we are going to look at three different fog and mist mods that can all be used together. The first one is called Volumetric Mists. This mod brings distant mist effects to Skyrim. It adds misty valleys without obscuring the mountains or sky behind it. This mod will really add a nice realistic and atmospheric feel to your game. The next one is called Obsidian Mountain Fogs, which increases the amount of mountain clouds, giving the mountain ranges more depth and mystery to them. This plugin comes from the Obsidian Weather mod, so it can be used alongside any other weather mod of your choice. And then we have the mod known as Morning Fogs, which adds beautiful rolling fog to the lakes and rivers around Skyrim. 
If you are going to use this mod, you should also install this patch, which I have linked in the description. It will remove the blocky and seams from the fog to create a more natural look. The next mod is one of my favourites, called Storm Lightning, which is a remake of the well-known Minty's Lightning mod. This mod can summon up to 50 sheet lightnings and fork lightning per second to create an incredible storm experience. It also comes with an MCM menu so you can adjust the settings to how you like and how frequent you want lightning to strike. To go alongside this mod, we have Thunder Sounds by Wizkid that replaces the thunder sounds from Storm Lightning with the best sound effects from other weather mods such as Obsidian Weathers and True Storms to create an amazing storm experience. Now we are going to look at some of the lighting mods to use with Skyrim. The first one that I use is called Enhanced Lights and Effects that has the goal to create a more dramatic and realistic mood to the lighting in Skyrim. This mod will change how all the light sources emit light, including windows, interior, exterior, and reflections. It's really an all-in-one lighting overhaul. To go alongside ELFX, and to be used in combination is ELFX Shadows. This mod seeks to add spectacular lighting effects by increasing the number of shadow cast. A truly gorgeous lighting mod that will make Skyrim look incredible. The other popular lighting mods are the Lux series. I personally prefer the ELFX lighting mods, but it totally comes down to preference. But if you prefer the Lux lighting mods, then go ahead and install those instead. And lastly, we have a mod that was released this year called Enhanced Volumetric Lighting and Shadows, otherwise known as Evlast. This mod improves volumetric lighting and shadows by synchronizing them with Skyrim's sun and moon. It really adds that extra bit of immersion and realism to the game that was missing in the original. It is also required by some EMB presets, so I recommend you use this mod as there's really no downside to using it. The last section I want to show you are some amazing flora mods to use with Skyrim. For the trees, we will be using a selection of two mods made by Blubbo. The first one is called Blubbo's Tree Replacer for the Reach. In vanilla Skyrim, the Reach area located around Markarth and Solitude, including Morthal, is pretty barren of trees. This mod will add large, dense trees to these areas that look spectacular and totally change the aesthetic of the Reach for the better. Be sure to also install the Reach Trees fixes to fix the rotation of some of the trees so they don't look strange pointing at weird angles. Next we have Blubbo's Aspen Replacer, which will replace all the trees in the rift with a beautiful dense forest. The density of these tree mods is what I love. It really makes you feel like you are in a forest and all the tree models and textures look incredible. For pine trees used in Falkreath, Whiterun and the snowy areas, I use Traverse the Olvenwald 3.0 Forests of Skyrim. This is a beautiful tree mod that produces incredibly realistic looking forests and trees alike. The newer version now also features new species of trees, so the forests look more varied and immersive. This mod is a full overhaul for all the trees in Skyrim, so if you don't want to use Blubbo's, you can use this mod as your single tree overhaul for Skyrim. Moving on to the grass overhaul, I recommend to use QW's Grass Patch 2, which combines three grass mods, Cathedral 3D Pine Grass, Origins of Forest, and Falk Vanar. The combination of these three mods together produces a gorgeous overhaul for grass for the whole of Skyrim. This combination of grass mods is my personal favourite and looks incredible with each region having a unique and varied feel. From folk wreath having large overgrown plants and a stunning flower and fern variation in the rift. This is a fantastic grass overhaul to use in Skyrim. And that's all I have for you today, so thanks for watching. This video is by far my longest, and if you like this style of larger video, then let me know in the comments. But again, thanks, and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers.